Hey everybody, uh, Zero Hex Given here with a quick video on microfielding using a couple um, plugins for I ITC and the Ingress Maxfield website. Um, I'm over here in Clarkston, Washington. Um, I found a, a little vacant spot of um, portals here. It should be easy for us to kind of go through and <clears throat> explain that. Um, first things off, first things first, um, if you're not familiar with IITC, um, Google it, I guess. It's a, it's kind of a, I guess, a browser plugin that goes on top of the Intel map. If you're not comfortable using it, don't use it and go do whatever you, you, you know need to do to figure this out. Um, plenty of people have been using it for years without issue. There's like some weird paranoia about using it and sure there's been some people like forever ago that were probably using it in not the most legit ways and they got in trouble for it. Um, I would hardly call this a misuse of the map or anything else so um, that out of the way that being said you need two plugins you're gonna need a I'm up here there's a little button for the plugin or whatever um, you are gonna use the draw tools plugin which comes with IITC so you just need to enable it and then we need a multi export plugin um, you can see it here, I've already got it. Um, go to Google um, and type in IITC multi-export and it'll probably be the top one. There are two of these plugins floating around and you want the one from Modkin. So um, just make sure you find that one and you'll be fine. Uh, scroll down, he has a little install link here. Just click the link. This is going to pop up. You're going to click install. I've already installed it, but it will, I mean, this has been added to the miscellaneous category. Come back here. Miscellaneous. Now that I've installed it twice. But so here's one. Just make sure it's enabled. And you'll see it over here, multi export. So to get our list of, um, portals we need a way to kind of capture these if we just did like the whole screen we'd have all these random ones that are you know a mile away so we're going to use the draw tools plugin we're going to use the come on we're going to use the polygon and we'll just start clicking around and once we get to the end here we'll click our first point and now we have our shape you need to delete that you can come over here a little trash can click it and then hit save and now it's gone you can just come on we're gonna hit the multi export button over here and we're gonna choose polygon max field so right here you could do current view but I kind of explain why that wouldn't really benefit most now we have this nice beautiful list. You can hit select all, click, copy. Now we're gonna come over to the ingress max field. Let's open up a new tab here. And you're presented with all this. Um, we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna paste our list that we just made. Hold on. We'll do paste. And now we have this beautiful list. I don't know much about doing multiple agents. If you want to explore it, go for it. So we're going to hit submit. Now you're going to have this expected wait time. It's usually a bit shorter than what it kind of mentions. I'd say it's roughly half that. Um, I've already done this exact job, so I'm just going to close it. And it generates this. These results for this job are only there for 48 hours, and they do get deleted. This isn't like some little like maybe it'll be gone or I whatever so um, if you like the job that you've created make sure to save it and you can do that at the bottom here let me close all these you can download all planning data and if you find a micro field that you kind of create that 
is pretty easy for you and, and something you'd like to do again and again, I would download it and then maybe put it into some sort of word file that you can just print, go to the park or whatever, and now you have this super kind of like guide to a bunch of AP. My phone's blowing up. So anyways, let's go through this real quick. Um, this kind of gives you your results. All of these AP numbers are not boosted or anything like that. So you've got um, an opportunity to 2x or 4x, some or all of this. The thing to remember is, and we'll look at a map here real quick. Um, here's your map. An apex boost lasts 30 minutes. So most people probably, well, maybe maybe this if it's tight enough, aren't gonna be able to do this, especially first run in 30 minutes. Um, if you have the keys and all of these portals were really close, like sure, maybe you could. So usually what I end up doing is I'll cap all of the portals and get them ready to field. Then I'll hit my apex boost and then I'll start running through and doing all my linking and fielding. And then anytime I have left over, I would probably jump in my uh, vehicle and have somebody else drive, of course, and then just go through and like cap all these or you know do something like that for some easy AP. Um, but the, the, the real money AP is in the linking and fielding, not building portals. So I'd rather make sure that my boost is running for the fielding rather than building these portals. That's just me though. So usually you can count on quadrupling these numbers to see what your real AP would be. Sorry if you can hear my dog walking around. Um, so you can look at all these, but basically I look at these, these numbers right here, the number match the numbers on this map. You'll, you should notice, or you should know that some of these portals don't need keys. So it's not like you go through and just get four keys for everything and you think you'd be fine. Some of them don't need any keys and some of them need a lot. So keep that in mind up here, right here it says max keys needed 13. Basically this saying is that one, one portal, this is the max number that will be needed for on any given portal. Usually there's um, maybe one or two that have like a lot and then the rest are usually two and three. So let's look here. Yeah, all two threes and ones and then that one 13. So, um, this is something you usually want to print out um, and what I usually do is I'll go farm keys and then later go build because sometimes it'll take me a couple trips especially for for something like this so your next um, big one is gonna be your link assignments which is kind of the the guide for this whole thing so these need to be done in order to get these sorts of AP numbers. So link number one is from 20 to 25. Here's 20, we're gonna send it to 25. Number two is 20 to 23, 20 to 23. So basically you just go through this list in order. It's on there twice, I'm not really sure why, but and by the end of the day, you should have these sorts of numbers. So basically, this is what I do to um, create these sorts of plans and get some decent AP, especially during um, fielding events. So uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, but should be pretty straightforward. So hope that helps somebody. Good luck, and uh, we'll see you out there.